Hey Stampers, Rose Grunewald here from Country Carts by Rose in my stamping studio in New Holstein. And I'm going to show you how I made the cute gift bag out of an envelope from this month's Paper Pumpkin Kit. So we're going to start with the envelope that came in the kit. And the first thing we want to do is seal the envelope good and tight. Now this is an old technique. But I was reminded of it recently um, by a video by Rhonda Wade, and I was glad for the reminder because it was perfect to coordinate with the card I made with this month's paper pumpkin kit. Okay, so I've got the envelope sealed up tight. I just licked it shut and then glued the sides. Um, and now I need to trim off a tiny piece of the top edge for my bag. So I'm just going to come in here with my paper trimmer and I am just going to trim a very small sliver off so that this will be able to open up. The next thing we're going to do is use our scoring blade on the trimmer and we're going to score all around the other three sides at three quarters of an inch. Once you've got it scored, now we need to fold and burnish the scored edges. So my bone folder comes in handy for this. And we're going to fold it both ways. So first I go one way, and then I fold and burnish the other way. right along those score lines that we made. Okay, with our creases nice and deep here, we're now gonna stick our hand in and open up our envelope. And what we wanna do is pop the bottom part open. I'm gonna use my bone folder to stick in there and get this crease to pop out a bit. There we go. And we're going to flatten these creases. because these are gonna make up the sides of our bag and this is gonna be our bottom. So we've got these triangles here that we need to flatten down. So all we're gonna do is make a crease along the edges of both sides. And I'm sticking my bone folder in there to get these corners to push out. There we go. So now let's just crease the edges of those little triangles that we formed. And now we need to glue these down. We'll just do that with three glue dots on each one. Two near the base and then one at the tip. And then we'll do the other side. <clears throat> Last one at the tip. Press that down. Now you've got this cute little bag. And the cool thing about this kit is that the inside of the envelope is decorated as well. 
so our inside matches the theme of our card. I'm going to decorate this bag just a little bit. So I'm going to use one of the shapes that we popped out here from our sheet. And I'm going to do a little stamping on it. I've got my window open and the wind is blowing my project all around. Okay. So let's do our stamping. So I'm stamping, you are my favorite adventure. Perfect. And now I'm going to put that on the bag, but first I'm gonna take some linen thread I've cut four pieces of linen thread. Let me get this out of the way. And I'm gonna tie this around. And I'm just going to tie this in a knot. If you want, you can trim the ends. And just like we did on our card, I'm gonna have this sticking off a little bit. Just like we did on our card, I'm going to grab my leaf punch to do a little layering behind. And I want to punch two leaves. I'll stick one behind each edge. Like so. And then I'm just going to pop that up onto my bag with dimensionals. And remember from my placement of it, I know that that one edge is going to stick out a bit, which is okay. That's the look I'm going for. So I'm careful to place the dimensionals where I know they're going to adhere to the card or the project. You are my favorite adventure. And I think I'd like just a splash of color going across the card. So 
I'm going to grab my markers here. And I'm going to find my Mossy Meadow. If I can find it. <clears throat> here we go. And I'm just going to do a little bit of spritzing. So you can either tap your marker lightly like this, but I like to use the um, cap on my marker to do it. And I'm just going to spritz across the bag like so. And our project is complete. Now all you have to do is stick some uh, gifts in here. You could do a gift bag. I actually think this would be a really cute project for a class. Um, you could stick uh, some liquid glue in here to sell to your customers or as a thank you gift for um, uh, a dem uh, your class attendees if you're a demonstrator. Lots of great ideas. So Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure you check out my blog for details on this project and the card that goes with it. And I hope that you have, oh, also make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel.